What's going on YouTube? My name is Mirvan Moon. It's been a while since I made a um, phone video, so I just got um, this package of from line I bought for 150,000 Vietnam dong plus 15 Vietnam thousand Vietnam dong for shipping, and I think I paid a total of 165,000. That's for about eight dollars, and then just uh, today I bought this um, lot of from the flea market, the local flea market. So let's start with the phone that I bought online because that's the one that I am. I'm kind of excited about because there are a couple of the rare phones in here. Yeah, let's just um, open it off camera. There we go. That was kind of hard without a uh, without a. Uh, so I got it about. Let's see, we have packaging. So let's see what do we have. I have a a Nokia. So Nokia. 7270 and uh, I don't think this will work I can see one of the contacts is kind of black so yeah but yeah that's the phone like one here is a Samsung Gusto I actually won one of these for quite a while so I'm really happy to have this one it's a convoy no it's a Gusto one let's see what else we have it's an LG it is on Verizon I'm guessing this is the VX oh yeah it's kind of fell apart. It's a VX3300. So, um, yeah, kind of happy to have the this LG. Uh, there were two old phones. It's this one. It's the LG. I'm not sure what this is. And I'm guessing this is um, going to be a Sprint device or something, etc. I'm not sure how to take the back cover off. Here we go. LG 150. I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess this is a um, kind of refurbished um, phone. And then last one is the Nokia 3100. I actually kind of want one of these for quite a while right now, so really happy to have this one. Now I'm I'm not gonna test these right now, but I want to show you the phone that I got today on the flea market. So on the first shop, I got. The, this one, this is the Qi Marvel Qi 267. Um, I used to have one of these in my collection for a long time ago, but that thing is broken, so I was happy to have this one. Next, we have um, on the th on the second shop, I got three phones. Uh, let's show the one. That I this is a um, Samsung SGH. I'm gonna test them them later on to see if any of them turn on. S CH X969. So this is with S phone. Really, only S phone I got today. And then here is a kind of a rare phone. This is a Daewoo um, Ubiquam U200. It's branded Daewoo and it's on VP Telecom, which I'm gonna assume is another CDMA device in Vietnam. And then I got this one. This is a um, very cool little Nokia phone that I actually kind of want for a while. while. Hmm. 6131 yeah 6131 so this will have um this have a fresh sensor yeah because i didn't think the 6126 one was a kind of non a normal model and then on the dust drop i got the samsung this little samsung right here it is with t-mobile us so first uh, t-mobile us phone the t219 I haven't te I haven't tested this one, but I've, I have tested a couple of these, and some of them turn on. I haven't tested fully yet. And on another shop, I got this one. This Samsung right here is a Samsung, very small little Samsung battery. SGHX three hundred. I do not have the charger for it, so I might have to charge the battery to see if the phone will turn on or not. It's kind of cool little Samsung phone. And then, um, let's have a key for some reason. I might have to take that out. Um, I'm not sure how to, I um, probably have to cut that, cut the key out. And then, on uh, the next shop, I pick up two Nokias. This is the uh, 2330 Classic, and that is 3110. Uh, 3110, I think, that is. Let's see how the back cover is coming out of this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, supposed to. I'm supposed to know how because I guess I actually kind of want one of these. I saw one of these on the flea market and it was a hundred thousand Vietnam dong. That thing worked just fine. 
Okay, so I pass on that and I got a kind of little bit um, dirtier one for 50. And the reason I got that for so, so cheap is because apparently it was water damage. I'm not joking, it's water damage. This bike, this guy's bike that were used to get off. I don't know why, but it just doesn't want to let off. Hold on a minute. There we go. Got the battery. This battery is definitely not, not good, so I'm gonna throw that away. So it is 2330C, 2330 Classics, and that is the 31 on. That is a 3110C, which I also have been looking for one of these and for a while, because all the all the one on the flea market all oh, doesn't turn on. So I'm happy was happy to kind of pick this one up. So let's start testing a couple of these ones. Let's start with the Nokia's. I have a couple of the testing. I just bring um a bunch of battery and a and charger, battery in it. So I'm gonna test see if any of them will work. Let's see um. We don't have any Sony Ericsson battery. We don't have Nokia. Oh, I forgot this one as well. This Nokia I found in one of the shop. Uh, it was a, uh, let's see, it was a 53, 5030 Express Radio. Yes, I, I'm guessing. Um, I picked this one uh, also in one of the shop. I think it was before I got this one. And I got a kind of good discount on that. Also for very cheap. Let's see. Um, we will need an LG battery, a Samsung battery, and then a couple of the Nokia. So we have the Samsung right here. So we will test um, these phone, phone first. And I will, t I will have to I will put this on on the charge so to see if this works. Oh, oh, and then and then like for this one, I also got the Samsung on the last shop before I went home. X five ten. Yeah, I want just try to collect the, all the good Samsung device. So that I can probably use this. Here's the LG battery, and uh, and then a couple of Nokia's so will have. Um, I have this battery. I have one more battery, which I'm not going to use it. Hey guys, it's the next day, so I have done testing all the phones. So now I will show you a couple of updates on what I got yesterday. So let's start with the top row first. I have twelve working phones. I have twelve working phones. And three of them are either untested or, them are broken. So let's start with the first one. This is a Nokia 3100, and it is unlocked to all carriers. Both speaker and this one work, so that's a good news for that. Got that one online for nine. This is the one I got on the flea market. This is the Nokia 6131 and it is also unbranded. Yeah, these bun this button is kind of hard to press, but it does work. What's good thing about this one is that it's flipped like this. You press this button right here. Yeah. And other than uh, and this keypad and this one doesn't take any SIM card. So yeah, thankfully it is a uh, later S40 device where you are allowed to boot the phone up without a SIM card. So yeah, pretty really happy for this one. Um, the next phone is the Nokia 3110C Classic. Now this one, it works, but the battery contact and the battery doesn't really um, connect. So I have to hold this against the contact to make it turn on. There we go. Speaker, this one does work actually. Just, I think, is the connection between the battery and Huh, that's weird. I might have checked the, the... I don't know, none of these came with the battery, so... Yeah, as you can see, Nokia. It 
it works but the battery connection is kind of weird so you ha will have to put something to make it and make the contact and line up so yeah kind of weird but it, it was i saw a couple of these on get 3110c on the free market and this is the only one that works so the other ones are either not turned on or have broken backlight next we have a nokia 2330c classics is really similar to the 2700 2730 except it's a bit cheaper looking King. this one has a broken vibrate so it doesn't vibrate and it came with a, a nokia battery but that battery is definitely broken so i threw that away i threw that away The next phone is the only S30 device I got. This is a Nokia 5030 um, Express Radio. And I got that in free market as well. And um, this is uh, this is one of the phone I got online. This is the only LG phone I got this in this video. This is an LG LX one fifteen, and I look at the model number and it showed that it is on Sprint, but apparently it looks to be unbranded. So I'm gonna guess it's going to be a um, some carriers that operate on the Sprint uh, roaming network. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh. Yeah, I saw the model number of this one and it shows Sprint. Yeah, so it's technically one of the earliest Sprint, first Sprint one I got, but I don't see any Sprint branding and anywhere. I haven't checked the MSN, ESN number, but apparently it is a rescreened Sprint device to sold in all the country, I'm guessing. So I'm not sure what network it is on. And obviously there are no service here because CMA has already shut down in Vietnam for let's see, let's say um in ten years ago. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna use this LG battery for one of the other phone that require that battery. And to show you you yeah. Now we have four Samsung, I have three I got from the free market and this one is from a from online. So first of all, here we have the Samsung SCH X. Let's see what model this is. X nine sixty nine doesn't came in the S phone card, so I had to put it on my own. It's on S phone. I mean, it doesn't have a keyboard and it already looked like that when I saw it on the free market. I paid about um, 50,000 Vietnam dong, that's about $2.50 alongside with this one and this one. And yeah, that LG is 30,000 Vietnam dong. And the other Nokia's, they are all really free, fairly cheap. And that Nokia is 30,000 dong and these three are 50,000 dong each. Okay, just basic LG, just a basic Samsung phone it is on S one. I'm not entirely sure about this phone. Uh, the C DSM kind of about this one, but I'm guessing is C um one forty or C one twenty. I'm not sure, but. I think there is a GSM version of this one. This one was a CMA model. I do also have a couple CMA model on this video, so that LG is also CMAs. And and I only have one working Samsung battery, so I will have to use the battery for all four of these Samsung. They uh, thankfully use the same batteries. Here is a, a Samsung. It shows on startup. SGH X510. It is unlocked to O carrier.
this is kind of like a, a kind of budget looking uh, Samsung phone with a camera so yeah and the sound is kind of like similar to the X160 that I got but it had a kind of let's just say a, a step kind of more one more uh, start out and shut out sound which you, which you have just um, listened and apparently the previous owner is a, uh, is a big fan of Samurai Pizza Cats for some reason I've seen phones with uh, anime wallpapers on the flea market for quite a while. I have like three phones, two with Magical Tarotito and one with um, Magical Dreaming or something like that. Then this is a Samsung, it is with T-Mobile, um, T-Mobile US. Don't be surprised that I put the MOE phone card, I will show, explain to you why. It is a Samsung. STH T219 It is with T-Mobile US It's actually the first T-Mobile US I thought about I, This is not the first uh, ESM American phone I had a 3220 but apparently that thing was completely ris completely um, reskinned to have no singular branding on it but the, but the back cover still say something for six singular and and you may be surprised that this one to actually work with that mobile phone card is because this one is actually unlocked to all carriers. How surprised, huh? Yeah. And I got this one for fairly cheap to um forty thousand Vietnam dong. That's two dollars. That thing is three dollars. And I got this one online for cheaper than all three of these. This is a Samsung Gusto one. And I did a couple customization on this one, so it should have permanent wallpaper on it. Yeah, non support battery because this one doesn't have a battery to begin with. Yeah. And I paid thirty thousand Vietnam dollars. That's about a dollar and a half for that one, and it worked just fine. Now on to the two last of all working for. We have a Daewoo. Um, Daewoo. This is a Ubiquam U two hundred. It is with VP Telecom, which is actually the before they renamed it to EVN Telecom, which is why I put the EVN card on it. But it actually, actually, it work with any other. RM card, even as SIM card will work. We'll read that. It say reading the UIM card. It's not my day. I'm not sure why they put Daewoo on it. Probably because it was uh, probably it was originally branded as a Daewoo device. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a very early Ubiquam device to be sold in Vietnam. I have a Ubiquam slider phone, but I need to get a good battery for it. As a charger, that charger used the same charger as the LG, the earlier one. Mm, when it comes to the reading the RUM card, it kind of took a while, so I have to get this. Looks like it did. Oh yeah, this one has a bass speaker, so it only vibrates. When you feel like it. Okay. And last working phone for today. This is a um, Qi Mobile Qi 267. It's a, this is a very um, earlier, this is a MediaTek phone. The reason I bought this one is because I used to have one of these, but but that thing doesn't turn on. So yeah, I was happy to have this one working. Yeah, low battery. Who cares? But yeah, but yeah, my my I was happy to have this one. This one had a kind of odd synthesizer on this one. Synthesizer. 
Comparing this to the Qi um, 2 115, which I got earlier this this week, this month, um, that thing has a kind of a better synthesizers for the ringtones. And one of the ringtones on that Qi 267 is literally a military, military um, song. So, not, so I'm quite surprised about that. Vietnamese military, by the way. Here we have, now we move on to the phones that either I was unable to test or doesn't work. So let's start with this one. This is an LG VX 3300 on Verizon. Now this one, I do have a battery for this, but this is the only one that I was able to test. And unfortunately, it turns on to this screen right here. Use genuine batteries. Yeah, that's the problem. But the phone actually, did, but I'm gonna guess this one will work because the because most LG phone back in the day will have that problem, especially those on Verizon. So that's something to expect. I mean, all LG phone, even the model one like the Chocolate Free, even had problem. I saw one of the Chocolate Free being sold for that, for much higher than the, that one. Here we have a Samsung SGH. S three hundred. Uh, I couldn't find any information about this, this one on, on what carries it on, but I do not have a charger for this one, and I barely the batteries doesn't work, so not good. And then last but not least is the Nokia seventy two sixty. This is I couldn't find any inf information on what carries it on because apparently the one of the battery pins is broken. And I um, I try turning it on a show in the same and when I insert the same it just breaks so not sure why I think I think some of the Nokia some of the older Nokia had that problem I have the sixty one seventy I think that had the same problem but that thing had a broken LCD the LCD on this one actually works so so if I want to sell it I want if I want to sell it I'm I want to say that the LCD is good so. So um yeah I'm also very really happy for was really happy for what I got for a couple of while. I do have I was able to buy a couple of the rare phone, including some expected unexpected find like this T-Mobile device on the flea market and a working gusto for really cheap. And this very really interesting LG on G unbranded which unbranded. I saw on picture online and all the all the photos show that it's on spring. And I've been looking for this Nokia for quite a while now, and I was finally able to get one of them. It was a cheaper, cheaper one. The other one doesn't have a keyboard, and it was twice as, as expensive. And I haven't really tested that. But yeah, I was really happy for what I got. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and peace.